In southern Victoria, thanks to GRDC-funded research, mixed farmers are successfully using dual-purpose canola. Sow it in spring, graze it through summer into a new year, and then leave it in the ground to a normal harvest at the end of that year. Now the vernalisation characteristic that makes that possible for this canola is also present in our slow maturing wheats, the ones that growers are already planting as early as Feb. You can sow them early, they've got a vernalisation requirement and technically they shouldn't go reproductive without the winter. So you can see what Anika's thinking, can't you? Would it work with wheat? So spring of 2013, in November I actually sowed a few winter wheats. Uh, Revenue, Manning, Einstein and Freelon and uh, actually just thought well let's try and, and see if this will work. So it actually uh, germinated and came up and uh, we had a really hot week uh, at the end of January that just burnt the wheat off. The sheep and the heat took the wheat trial plots back to bare dirt. So if you ask me the question in February this year I would have said I tried, it died and it doesn't work. So no, you cannot spring sow winter wheat and over summer it and take it through to harvest. But um, yeah, what, what I found when the rain did come in March and April, we actually had the plants recover. This is revenue that we sowed last November, same time as this. And um, I just dug this out this morning so it's got heads out, it's tilled quite well, it's green. The thing that, that's really surprising, I think, is under the ground, the roots. So the, the root story, uh, that's been able to access moisture that, that perhaps a autumn sown wheat uh, hasn't been able to tap into. So, you know, in a, in a cut off spring, having a root system like this down there is really gonna pay off, I think. So when you compare it to an autumn sown spring type again, and I did not pick these plants on, on purpose, it was just a shovel in the ground. The root system of a plant sown this autumn versus sown last spring. Um, again, a hard spring that we're enduring right now. Uh, I know what I'd rather have in the ground as a as a base, it's had to survive. We've pushed it to its limits and I didn't think wheat could really do it, but uh, yeah, it's, it's opened my eyes up to what plants are really capable of and uh, are we currently doing it right? Are there opportunities that we can take advantage of? <laughs>